Hello everybody, this is Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a cute little box to share with you on the One Stamp at a Time blog hop. I whipped this up because we need to have a card and also a 3D item and I thought, ooh, I bought some candy recently. Ha! Ah, Lindor Truffles in Bermuda Bay, I might add. And check out my box. Ha! Ah, isn't that cute? Okay, let me show you how easy this is to make. I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here that is two and seven eighths by nine and a half, and a piece of Bermuda Bay that's seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. All of these measurements will be on my blog, so you can check if you're looking at the video on YouTube, you can look in the comments section for a link to my blog. Otherwise, if you're blog hopping, you're gonna be there already. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to score up our box. And I scored that on all four sides at one and a quarter and two and a half. So you're just going to do that on all four sides. Okay, box is ready. Now for the outside belly band. This piece is two and seven eighths by nine and a half. And we're going to score this at one and a quarter, four and an eighth, five and three eighths, and eight and a quarter. And we're done with our paper cutter. I'm going to bring my little paper snips in here. Okay, first of all, you want to stamp up the, um, I call it the belly band or the sliding part of your box. You want to stamp that up first and then you're going to fold on your score lines. Just like that. So it's going to make a nice little box for you that'll slide on and off. For the box base, we're going to have to do some cutting here. So I suggest that you cut up from one end all the way through both score lines here. So we've got a score line here and a score line here. You're going to cut up to that score line. You're going to do that on both sides. Do that first because then it's a little less confusing. Once you have that done, now we need to cut some of these outside pieces off. So on the end that you already cut up, you're going to cut this end tab all the way up to the second score line. And then you're going to cut off your outside pieces. Like that and like that. Okay? So you're going to do that on all four sides. When you're done with this, you're going to have two. Oops, look, I left that one in there. Let's get rid of that too. We don't need that one. You're going to have two tabs here and two tabs here. That's what you want to be left with. In order for your box to fit nicely, I always like to do a little notching. So on these four tabs on the outside, I want you to go around and cut a sliver off that outside edge of all four tabs. And this will help your box fold up nicely so you won't get it all together and be frustrated because it doesn't fit right. I hate it when that happens. I'm going to get out my bone folder now and you're going to make, um, what do they call this? We're going to, oh, it's an English word. I learned it from my English demonstrator friends. Burnish. That's it. We're going to burnish all of our score lines. So I want you to go around and do that. Oh, I missed one here. There we go. Okay. This is really, really easy, you guys. Once you get to this point, I'm going to take my box and I'm going to fold the two ends in with the flaps. So both of those are in. Then you're going to bring these ends both in over the flaps. And I want to do a little dry fit here to make sure that everything's fitting properly. And it is. Okay. So I'm going to pull those back out and I'm going to put some glue on it. You can use tear tape, you can use sticky strip, you can use 
anything except your tape runners. Tape runners don't don't work well with boxes or anything that's folded that you want to stay together. So again, we're going to bring those pieces up with the tabs. You're going to put this up here, push it down, and you're going to do the same thing over here. And then just push everything together so that it'll stick. Make sure you're getting your tabs all the way in there so your box is square. You want to look at all your edges and make sure that everything is in there where it belongs. And then these two flaps, we're going to put a little glue on, tuck those in. There we go. And then the really cool part of this box, of course, is our little pop-up snowflake, right? And you could put anything on here to pop up. But I just took um, about a 3 8 inch wide piece of, can you see that, of window sheet. And this one is... five and a half inches long. We're going to cut some of it off and I'm just going to take it and fit it down in here and fold it. So that's going to give me a little crease line. Take your mini glue dots. I put two mini glue dots on the bottom piece that's going to go in my box and I push it right up against the edge of my box here. I push that down in here. Now you're going to put one more mini glue dot right on this clear window sheet. Cut it the length that you would like it. And I think I'd like mine just a little bit shorter. Doesn't need to be popped up that far. And we're going to take and put a mini glue dot on there. And I'm going to adhere my little snowflake or whatever image you would like. Okay. And then, I have to stamp this, which I'm not going to do for you. You know how to stamp. Um, then, this is going to wrap all around here. Very nice. When you go to put your candies in here, you push your little image down. You push your little image down and slide your box cover on. So then when people open it, boom, up comes that little snowflake. Isn't that cute? Super easy, fun box great way to uh, give some little candies for Christmas. These are the Lindor, Lint Lindor Truffles and they're coconut milk chocolate and they're Bermuda Bay. That's why I bought them. Do you find that you buy stuff at the store based on stamping up colors? I know it's a crazy thing with us, isn't it? Thanks so much for stopping by. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be happy to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and check out my blog, stampabove.com. I'd be happy to send you some catalogs. Make yourself a matching set here. You've got a gift and a matching card, and you can um, add a little sparkle to someone's day. Everybody needs a little sparkle, right? <laughs>